Just kiss me once, then kiss me twice, then kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Haven't felt like this, my dear, since can't remember when. It's been a long, long time. What a great voice. Wow. You'll never know how many dreams I've dreamed about you. But just how empty they all seemed without you. So, kiss me once, then kiss me twice, then kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the weekend edition of the PM Show on CRN Digital Talk Radio nationwide and coast to coast with the one and only Mr. Robert Conrad. You like this intro music here for this segment? Yeah, I like it. It's my kind of music, and I love to hear women sing. You know that? You, we just heard my daughter, who's outstanding, and you know this is, don't you? Huh? I think this is Tina Louise. Yeah, it is Tina Louise. Incredible let me tell you Tina something. Louise. Let me tell you about something. Please. Uh, Caprice Crane, uh, that's her daughter, who became an MTV producer and novelist. Yes. Uh, wrote a, a novel, Stupid and uh, Contagious, published in 206, and was warmly dedicated to her mother. Wow. Uh, now, Louise now lives in New York City. She's a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Scientists. A lifetime member of the Actors Studio. You hear that one? Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, and uh, dedicated to providing and tutoring uh, to New York City children. That's it has great. been her passion to help young students gain uh, books, not only in literary skills, but also confidence, self determination, and proof of their own potential. She's written two books Sunday, uh, a memoir, and then uh, when I. Uh, grow up. The latter is a children's book that inspires children to believe they can become whatever they choose through creative and humorous compassions of Animal Kingdom achievements. She, Louise, this beautiful woman, is currently working on a second children's book set to be published in the fall of 2009. Now, Should be out let, let me say this to yes. you. I, um, she worked on the uh, on the, the lot, the C CBS for a lot, and I would see her occasionally. When you were there with the Wild Wild West, yeah, right? And yeah. I, and, and, and I said to myself, this is one of the most beautiful women I have ever seen. E ever seen. And, well, and talented, of course. But, I mean, uh, I didn't know that when I saw her walking down the streets. I didn't know she had talent. I just know she had beautiful legs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the, intro. Here is the, uh, the mother of Caprice, so beautiful Tina Louise. Hi, Tina. Hi, how are you? How nice to uh, speak to you. Hey, it's been thank, a long time, well, indeed. Thanks. It's been a long, long time. Hey, Tina. thanks, good looking, and I love your voice. And, and, oh, thank you. And uh, I think it's great that you've got this relationship with your, your daughter. And uh, Oh, thank God, yes. yeah. And, you know, I had an opportunity to do a show in New York uh, I just passed on it. Uh, they were either doing New York or Toronto. How do you like living in Toronto? Before we talk about your career and, and all the good things that we living have to in. Say about it. How do I like living in Toronto? Or no, would I, I like in New York? No, in New York. In New York. How do you like living in New York? Oh, in New York City, I adore my city. Oh, I love where I live, and I love this city, and it's it's just absolutely wonderful. Today it was snowing. And raining, and uh, having been born in February, uh, it doesn't uh, deter me. Good. I just I just go out in it, and um, it's just great. There's a gym across the street, and I work out all the time. And I love you know walking to do errands. I love the theater here, and of course you know we're always screening movies at the Academy, and um, it, it's a great city. So you know, uh, Tina. I, I would say, this is from my point of view, you are probably one of the most beautiful women that I've ever seen. I, when I first saw Elizabeth Taylor uh, many, 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 many years ago, I thought, oh, that's a hot, beautiful girl. When I saw you at C uh, CBS, I went, whoa, man, that's a 
beautiful oh, girl. Thank you. And well, I thought, what a handsome guy. Thank you. Well, we got to thank God <laughs> for that. You've had the career that uh, you want to share with this audience. This audience in Ellington is over five million. It's one of the most successful shows on cable. Mm. And uh, I'm very proud to be a part of it. Congratulations. Thank you. And this particular show is the number one show uh, on CRN. And uh, what we do is we have the audience participate. They send emails, they call, and they ask for people that they want to uh, hear talk, and you are one of those people. So thank you for doing the show for them, and thank you for doing the show for me. Now, you've done Broadway, you're a singer, you've written books, you've made films in Europe, uh, you've had a hit television sh uh, show. Uh, w what is your, your favorite moment in your career, if you can share that, Tina? Well, you know, Bob, I, I've been working all this year. I published What Does a Bee Do by myself. So that's your book, and you did all the publishing everything yeah, yourself? Yeah, yeah, because, see, the way this came about was that I saw a segment on 60 Minutes. I saw a farmer come on and start talking about the honeybee. Right. Now, I would say what I've experienced, because I've done three television shows and on one radio show, and everywhere I go, nobody knows what the honeybee does. And when he spoke of the honeybee, and told the audience that the honeybee pollinates all of our fruits, vegetables, and nuts. I couldn't believe it. And he said the, the honeybee was in colony collapse disorder. That means they're dying. Right. And, uh, of course, Albert Einstein many years ago said that when the honeybees die, we've got four years to live on this planet. So I thought, wow, I better get this info out there, at least to the children in the public school where I tutor. <laughs> Yeah. So I started working on it. I mean, you know, I, I really knew nothing, and uh, I don't know that I know everything uh, about it right now, but I got enough done so that to sort of pique their interest, because they, they say that, you know, we are like 26 in terms of our scientists and biologists and everything, and this is something that really uh, I, I thought that they would be curious about. So I've been uh, working on this, and, um, you know, I like to visit schools. Um, Schools are not in the best, you know, shape these days, you know, financially. Uh, but uh, I did one, I did about six sessions, six different classes from first to fourth grade. And Tina, the kids are really interested. Tina, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What I want you to do, if you'd be kind enough, can you do another segment with us? Do you mind? Oh, no, I'd love to. Oh, well, thank oh, great. you. It's, yeah, it's well, Bob's well, birthday edition of the show, oh, Tina. Please, this is one of the oh, greatest please. gifts you could have is we're, Tina we're, Louise on the show. Today, yes. today is your birthday. March 1st, no, March 1st. March 1st. And it's anyway, March 1st. We're, we're going into commercial. You will hang in and let us do another segment. Absolutely. She already said yes. I don't give I her a second. Make sure. I'll, Absolutely. All right, all right thanks, Tina. We'll